Let's go! What it do, Ski? It's your boy, Farewell, and today we're checking out some Stargate SG-1. This one is season number four, episode number 17. How's it going, fam? I got my good cup of tea. I got my good show. And let's just dive right into it. Um, the last episode of Stargate SG-1 was the 2010 episode we met the Ashenda, if i'm not mistaken anyway with that being said as always if you enjoy this video then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and with that being said let's just dive into this episode sg1 yight abydos we got a daniel episode all right let's see what's popping today this is where i heard the voice getting a buildup of static electricity sir ghost of share confirmed look Jesus. I guess that was kind of easy. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe this episode we're gonna get another little nugget, a teaser, a tendy towards the Harcesis. But it appears that the Harcesis has appeared. Is it Cap? Not Cap? Let's find out. The last time we did the full-on Harcesis episode was the Monks episode. That actually is the baby that he's grown quite, quite, quite uh, quickly. How is that possible? Absolutely. I'm not power. sure. He says Oma taught him to forget. The alien we encountered on camp, yeah. Mother Nature. Get a message to Ham and let him know who we're bringing. Over under the base goes on lockdown? Probably. The candle will only burn as long as the wick. <laughs> it's right though, right? Hammond's like, can somebody pull up genius, please? I need to decipher these bars. I found traces of the same nanotechnology that once prematurely aged Colonel O'Neill. Nice. I've had them analyzed by back. some of the- What about the information this boy apparently knows? What exactly can he tell us? Sir, we've received word from the Tok'ra. Oh, did we really have to call them? Specifically mentioned- The memory recall device to extract information from Shifu without harming him physically. But what about mentally? Isn't it possible he might comprehend the situation if you explained it to him? Well, I guess so, but I, I doubt he'd be willing to remember. In those moments, the Zominette tried to kill me. Oh, that episode Ooh. just went up on YouTube recently. Yes. Great episode. We can't deny the battle against the Glawold forever. The information contained within your buried memories could really help us. And ultimately, it isn't just about me. I understand. All I know is this is very important, or I wouldn't ask. You good, cuz? Did he put him in the Avatar state? Hello? <laughs> oh, did he just saw some of the memories? I'm good, you hold on to them. These are the long range sensors. I don't even know what to ask first. Oh, uh, well, the translation may be a little off. Everything in my head is actually in Gould. Liquid Naquita fuel cell here. Liquid Naquita? Well, actually, it's heavy liquid Naquita, but don't ask me what makes it heavy. Strange things just keep flooding into my mind. I'm, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Well, just that uh -oh. this is unbelievable. This is too good to be true, Daniel. Basically, sir, it's the basis of the perfect anti Gould defense system. You think the Tok'ra would betray? Maybe not intentionally, but they've had problems with Gould spies before. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's worth the risk, not when we can do this without them. Right? He's no Remember? danger, sir. Well, it's not that he's no danger. Maybe he doesn't realize that if he were to transfer this information via airdrop, that it may deteriorate his mind, right? O'Neill got it from Thor, right? Our boy. He had to get it, you know, taken away from him. Sorry, not through Thor. Thor is the one who helped him, I believe. He touched the uh, the machine, right? I believe the closest translation would be subatomic energy particles. That's what I thought. Thank you. Oh. You can go back to whatever you were doing. This is DD, man. This is Dark Daniel. I can feel it. Bottom line is it's going to require the resources of the entire SGC to focus on the retrieval of raw Naquita for the time being. Pentagon has budgeted oh, the construction and the launch of the satellite uh -oh. network. Uh-oh. We know what's going on. Dollars estimated time. <laughs> That's unacceptable. Well, if we involve the Russians in a cooperative effort, no, we have to tell no, them. No, we don't. But it's okay. I have a way of rendering their gate inactive. You do? Well, that, that's really not the point. The strategic division of labor in order to maintain the security of the project. I'm sure the Pentagon will be happy to provide me with, given the nature of my continued contributions. Look, Hammond's Please see Vegas approved as soon as possible. Moving like a little dictator here, buddy. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <sighs> hey. What's going on? Well, for starters, who gave you the authority to give orders around here? Yeah. Actually, the Pentagon. I have the knowledge. I, I have to make sure it gets used properly. Where's Teal? Wait, wait, wait. What is, what is... Michael Shanks, let's go! Now, if we don't take this back, this could be significant. And in, in and of itself, if, if, if these actually stick, the, the materials we learned is very big. Apophis. Oh, so Daniel becomes the biggest system lord? 
no fucking way that's gonna happen. Bitch, what? Wait, what? Chill! Chill! What do you mean? Oh, we did not just do a mid-season time jump. This is gonna be a take back, so he's guaranteed. There's no fucking way, dog. Yo, you got me all the way fucked up. And Major Carter is here to see you. Send her away. <laughs> And find out why she still has a valid security pass. Yeah, this is not. Good happening. morning, Doctor Jackson. Uh, morning, maybe that. This could be a dream sequence, actually. Yeah, what this is probably what it all is. This morning, Doctor. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Daniel. I'm sorry, Doctor Jackson. She insisted. You can't seriously think you're going to get away with this. What are you talking about, Sam? That's why you had me removed from the project. You knew I'd figure it out eventually. I relieved you of your responsibilities because you were starting to crack under the pressure. Tell Strategic us. division of labor, all in an effort to keep anyone from seeing the big picture. What exactly do you think you figured out, Sam? You know damn well what I'm talking about. This is what would happen if Dee Dee took over. Damn, this guy got a little bit of knowledge and turned into a hot boy? Okay. Mr. Jackson. Every once in a while, he gets carried away, but he's not going to do anything to jeopardize the entire planet. There are a lot of very smart people who believe in this. He's got them brainwashed. Carter. What about Teal? You helped Daniel create these weapons. I know. Well, you couldn't stop it. What do you expect me to do? Somebody has to stop him before it's too late. I mean, he would make a great villain. I love the place. Love what you've done with it. Come here. This would actually be a really cool what? long drawn. Oh boy. Obviously, all this jab in one episode, I don't know if it's necessarily gonna have the same impact, but if they drew this out, it's gonna slap real hard. What do you think? It's a pretty nuts streaming setup. After what happened to Teal, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, ancient history. Besides, I don't want to miss watching you save the world. Daniel yeah. turns into Elon Musk. So he threw her in jail, huh? Fix things if it goes wrong. Dr. Jackson. Ship. Congratulations, Dr. Jackson. We've got 24 delivery systems all launching concurrently. Each one is carrying 12 AG3s that will disperse once they reach orbit. We have liftoff. Switching to disbursement tracking system. The network is in place. That's it. You sure it's uh, $2,000 a bottle? No, oh, thanks. The president is going to make the Stargate's existence public knowledge. I'm Amy Jensen, live on Capitol Hill. The president has postponed his public address. What's going on? The Russians have gone on high alert. Direct violation of prior agreements to share all information. Yeah, because pretty I, much what we expected. Yes. Because if you're going to want to defend yourselves against the galaxy, you got to get a little bit of unity across Earth first. I, you know, so that's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, before, like enough of this, the, this Russian and I believe they just said China squabbles. We got to have some sort of agreement. And I guess sharing that information is going to have to happen. So once, you know, things like this happen, we're all on board. Receiving authorization to target Russian satellite. Oh, is this we man have from the Doctor Who 1996 film? He looked familiar, but I was like, where do I place him? I think that might be him. Target has been eliminated. Uh, maybe not, actually. It was a voice that, 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 that sounded like it for a second. Everyone here is quite impressed. Let's hope the Russians are as well. I'm recommending we take out their launch site. Shouldn't we just nip this in the bud? Nuke them. Dr. Jackson, what are you doing? So I'm gonna have to step in and prevent a global nuclear war. Do not Bunker is well protected. Don't even think about sending a cruise missile our way. Dr. Jackson. Daniel. What are you doing? AG system targeting Moscow? Daniel. Don't worry. There's no threat of residual radiation spreading as quick and clean. It's like cutting your enemy's heart out with a scalpel. Thank you, Jack. It took you long enough. <laughs> That's the most Daniel thing. <laughs> Getting shot at and then just giving a look. <laughs> well, this is a great what if. What are you talking about? Everything you put in your head. The Gould have used mind control before. You think this is some elaborate Gould plot to get me to destroy the world? We've seen him use kids too. That's facts. I, I didn't. I didn't. I just sort of believed it. A bunch of stuff in my head in order to get me to build the weapons, only to eventually turn them on to Earth. It's possible. You're assuming this is not what I wanted all along. This guy. System is firing. This guy. Wow. Target has been eliminated. Still nothing? There's nothing physically wrong with them, or at least nothing I can find. Yeah, the, the, after like two minutes into that, I'm okay, this isn't sticking. But they had me for a good second. They had me. It may not be the hard thesis at all. The Goa'uld are not above using human children as weapons. Basically a lie detector test. No harm would come to him. Here we go. Are you Harcesis? I am many things. Do you possess the genetic knowledge passed on to you by Apophis? Yes. What did you do to Daniel? Dreams sometimes teach. I'm teaching him, and that the evil in my subconscious is too strong to resist. The only way to win is to deny it battle. As Oma teaches. One of these days I'm gonna figure out she's worth listening to. It's time I chose a new path. Wait a minute, if he really is Harcesis, we can Confirmed. still extract some very valuable information from him. 
No, you can't. What's going on? We're not just gonna let him leave. And he's off. Highly recommend you order all personnel to stand down. Are you sure, Colonel? Trust. Y'all. What am I supposed to say? Glowing energy being. Just headed for level 28. We just stand it. by. Wave if you'd like. And that was my reaction video to Stargate SG-1 Season 4, Episode number 17 here. Uh, and we had Dark Daniel return. <laughs> and um, this was definitely to the extreme. This is um, what would happen to Daniel if he got what he wanted. And that was to see the Harcesis. And uh, and I actually think this episode was pretty clever in the way that they approached it. I you know the show just keeps doing it every time we get to a future like any time anything where we 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 go to the future time travel they 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 and what I commend and I rate SG one at least from what I've seen up up until now. They do a good job at keeping it fresh and mixing it up ever so slightly. And I think this episode did it again. The way they structured it, I thought it was pretty well written in the in the way they were like in the at the 15 minute mark, we go, Daniel gets knocked out, and we just do a time jump and you know the way they unraveled it. But then after a few minutes, you sort of get the idea that this is not gonna stick. Um, but it was still fun to just see how this would play out um, to this very far extreme. What would Daniel do had he got this information? Of, uh, of this level of power. The, the believability, like you had to suspend your disbelief in terms of the way, for, for me at least, um, what I did not buy, but I understand that was the point, Daniel would do this to his friends. But I mean, if he is if he is, if he he is is pushed to this point and, and if nobody, like once you have this level of power, you're able to create and protect the earth to achieve your goals. He does have this dark side to him. So I guess this is what would happen if that were to be, if he were to feed into that. Good episode of the show. I kind of didn't buy into the way he was treating his friends, but I did love the sort of like super villain, almost like a spy film super villain, um, you know, uh, trying to save the world, but he ends up probably becoming a menace. I think Michael Shanks' performance here was solid. I really did enjoy it. I think he, whenever he gets to go into a different version of himself or, you know, uh, you know, deep, you know, go farther into his acting bag and just go outside of his normal, his normal range, it's always a great time. This is obviously connecting back to the ongoing plot with the Harcesis, the Share, the new Share storyline. Uh, after forever and a day we haven't touched upon it in quite a while but he's kind of changed ever since that episode he's he's he's, he's a new character almost right he's still the daniel that we know but he's got a new mo he's got a new motive right i i, I get i get what they want with this episode and i enjoyed it maybe i didn't love it as much as i loved forever in a day this post of interesting you know ideas that we're not going to be able to extract the information from the harcesis at least now because what will happen and right if daniel were to do it it was, it's not going to work out in this episode demonstrated that again. Where's they keep teasing us? When will we get the technology? I don't know. However, I do think that uh, what they've showed this episode could be a pretty viable idea in terms of the level of technology we're eventually going to get, right? Like, a, like, you know, satellites to defend us from, you know, uh, from Google threats from thousands of miles, or thousands of light years away. That seems like a pretty sure bet how we're going to get that technology and it not be through some sort of mind control some sort of data transfer that's gonna end up making you go insane. And I wonder if it has to do with the fact that it's transferred from the gold. Is it similar to the sarcophagus where it makes you more susceptible to your darker natures uh, and you just go a little cuckoo? I'm not too sure if that's attached to it, but that was Stargate SG-1 season number four, episode number 17. Uh, this was Daniel in the what if, and this confirmed that this was a Harcesis, so, um, that's pretty cool, and we're probably gonna see him again. With that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one, SG fam. Love you, love you. Peace.